Hello everyone, I'm Luca Capasso, game designer and creative director of King of Seeds. And today I'm here to introduce to you to our uh, action RPG single player adventure that we crafted uh, uh, with the goal to deliver a great pirate adventure specifically for uh, Nintendo Switch, but then uh, you will be able to find it on uh, all platforms. So our um, design goal was to create um, a great pirate game that would have um, uh, delivered uh, uh, an awesome single player adventure that we thought were missing was missing from the from the market for too much time. So today I'm gonna show you King of Seas and I will just jump uh, into a previous save game to show you a bit of the late content. The game is gonna speak better than me about these features. So, in King of Seas, you control a pirate ship. Here you can see my uh, wonderful frigate. I can zoom in. And uh, right now I'm level 37 in this game. And I got uh, already a well equipped uh, frigate in order to conquer and loot uh, the seas. In what I can show you is um, the frigate is one of the five class uh, of ships that we got in the game. And it's designed to be uh, a powerful and reliable vessel to um, attack other pirate ships. No, oh, sorry, other pirate ship, other uh, ships. Here we are, Eagle 10, that is the capital uh, of the player. And as you can see, there are other pirate ships that are part of my faction. The game features a faction system. I open the map. That, uh, in a certain point, uh, will start uh, to become a continual war between different factions. As you can see from the map, my faction right now has three islands, for what I discovered. There are the merchants that are a more neutral faction, but they will defend themselves if they are attacked. And then there is the navy, that is the main uh, opponent. It's going to be the main opponent of your uh, pirate adventures. So, to show you a little bit of... Um, what we crafted uh, in terms of gameplay, the game features a basic uh, sailing system that follow the wind rules, so if you go according to the wind you can go faster, and the sails adapt their rotation, as you may see, according to the position of the wind. And then we got the combat system. In the combat system you got uh, the cannon barrages, and um, that you can swap the cannonballs in order to attack uh, either sails that determine the speed of, of the ship, uh, the crew that determine the cooldown, or the hull that is uh, directly the life uh, of the ship. And the game is, uh, as I mentioned before, is an action RPG. So what we I had in mind it was to make uh, a full inventory that can be crafted and customized. And uh, even the abilities are going to be items that players can drop and they keep uh, to their ship. So each ship is really customizable in terms of aesthetics and gameplay. Here we are going <laughs> to a pirate island. I believe. No, this is a navy territory. So we could find the port. Okay, the port can be conquered, uh, and uh, in order to do so, you have to destroy the fort. They are heavily defended, and if you attack them, uh, even they're gonna send you ships like this military one. 
try to stop you. But, as you may see, um, when you get to this point of the game, even your faction is gonna help you to attack the enemy fort. So right now we got four pirate ships and we are dealing with this military ship. So apart from the hero's journey we could see in the dialogue that we made, I'm gonna use this ability. It's really powerful. This is a specific frigate ability. Uh, we got, uh, I was saying, apart from the epic journey, the quest system, that maybe I can show you a bit later. Um, King of Seas features all these uh, war system, where the faction will interact by themselves. They have trade routes that, uh, if the ships get to the opponent's port to the other parts, so we we'll power up your village or penalize it economically and military. And then we have the conquest system. So each part we send to other parts some uh, chips to try to conquer them. So dynamically, you will see a crash. Okay, this ship is almost done. You will keep seeing. Uh, uh, notification of uh, ship uh, parts that get attacked or attacks from your part. As you may see, the fort has two towers down, so if I position well my ship at this point, I should be able to conquer it without any arm. Okay, I'm not positioned well. I'm gonna use they can see me from there, that's good, so I'm gonna get another part for my pirate empire. And voila, conquering parts give you the best rewards. So right now I receive a new cannon and two new abilities uh, of blue rarity. That's pretty good. And voila. With fireworks. Now a reality squeak. It's gonna be one extra part of my pirate empire. And um, the parts are not only conquerable uh, places, but uh, they are also hubs where you can uh, repair your ship. There's my frigate and uh, you can buy and sell uh, customization. If you see in this game, I've been really lucky, so I got legendary cannon. I was really happy. Then uh, there are some abilities like those two, that uh, this lot of abilities are specific for uh, the kind of ship you have. And this is the carpenter menu. Let's see if I can buy I just concrete so it doesn't have too much to offer. And then another interesting feature, you can go to the governor and power up your port in terms of money. So if I add the military force, the fort is gonna be more powerful. And if I add the wealth, the settlement is gonna sell me more things. If I add the Population is gonna spawn more ship and uh, it's gonna have more uh, crew in the tavern. The tavern is the place where you can uh, hire pirates for the crew. That is one of the life bar, and then you can get the secondary quest. Let's get one. This one gives me some repair kit that are useful in the open seas. So the game is uh, decorated with these uh, illustrated characters that we gave you to the painter. Right now uh, my character is Marilu, it's one of the two that you can choose. 
was the girl on the right side. And Greg was a bartender of this bar that asked me to do his task. Okay, as you can see, I power up the park, so it spawned uh, more houses. And also we got some extra power, like this one that is south to it. Oh, there I see a shipwreck. We um, uh, made uh, the ward in order that uh, you always have something to look at. Okay, like the shipwreck. That could contain a precious loot, but this is, as you may see, it's dangerous in here to a volcano. Let's see if I can make it. Okay, looks really risky. Maybe it's better if I start to run. Okay, the game feature. Uh, of the environment uh, volcanoes so you can fight uh, underneath or um, storms a uh, night and day cycle that will affect uh, um, not only just the look and feel of the game but um, also the encounters that you can make on open scenes so if we look in this direction there should be the next main quest of my adventure that is defeating one of the legendary pirates. So at a certain point of the game, uh, right now I'm level 37, so uh, the level cap is 60. I'm deep into my experience. Is um, You encounter those legendary pirates that are characters um, that uh, come to the world to challenge you, to see if you are worthy of the ascension you are making to become King of Seas. And, uh, Right now I'm setting sail to Bushy Bird Cove. That is gonna be near soon. And it didn't show you I got other abilities like this distraction ship. So if I cast this uh, ship, the enemy ships uh, are going to focus that one instead of me. I found another shipwreck. Oh, there it is. That's our guy, Captain Bushybird. I think he just got hit by a kraken. Tentacles. So I'm even lucky. Yeah, we wanted to make the game realistic, so even if it's your uh, target of the quest, uh, it's gonna be affected by the world hazards. And here it is. Just gonna skip the dialogue to don't spoil too much. So this is a pirate boss. And he has multiple abilities in order to arm it. And it is optional, so it's not something that you have to do for sure in order to progress the game, but um, it's gonna give you a good power up at the end of the story. I'm gonna use this ability that I got. Welcome to hell, the apply burn the mages. And as you see my cannonballs, uh, we got multiple uh, side effects to cannonballs, so if you find cannonballs and you keep them, they're gonna um, change the impact and the effect of your attacks. Oh, there is Kraken Tentacle, miss me. Not push back. Gonna 
I got him down. Yeah, it was casting that powerful abilities. So, this is King of Seas. Uh, we are gonna deliver it for uh, the beginning of the next year. Uh, we are really proud of what we have done and we are looking forward to it. Uh, feedbacks from the player is a really expandable concept so let's see how you appreciate it it's gonna come for all platforms and uh, keep tuned uh, thank you so much for watching